I arrived in Perth in 2015. You may wonder what makes me move to the most isolated and arid populated environment continent. What makes me move in this Australian Far West is not gold. It's another kind of richness, plant richness. Western Australia includes what is called a plant biodiversity hotspot. That means that it includes a lot of species. Curiously, current hypothesis explaining this uh, extreme diversity in plants involves adverse conditions, such like aridity, bushfires, or moving dune system, such like the Lanceline dune presented in this slide. We um, currently uh, think that these small scale disturbance are creating new space that allow uh, spe uh, species to colonize, that are awaiting plant colonization and promoting uh, plant speciation. So we've recently discovered uh, in Spain a 100 million years old analog of the Western Australian hotspot. During that time in Spain, arid vegetation uh, was around and was frequently disturbed by wildfire and moving dune. We uh, describe different floral assemblages for different locations, and we've been able to describe an increase in diversity in different groups of plants from the very small mosses, relatively bigger fern and conifers and flowering plants. So it's a kind of a support of this uh, previous hypothesis. The things, everything does not uh, go all right, and eventually the desert system gets flooded by uh, sea level rise. It is something that should remind you the high title of current newspaper. That's a present concern. But everything is not black either because in Spain, as well as in uh, Western Australia right now, we have the seed of the future vegetation that could come and should give the resources for the next generation. Thank you. <laughs>